There is no question that training activities are becoming more complex and require deep, thorough and meticulous planning. In most instances, the planning occurs through a series of planning conferences, where representatives from each group agree on the exercise goals and objectives, the scenario, how the training event is to be conducted, and the evaluation criteria, if any. The conferences are expensive, as each group needs to send a representative, and then any follow-up work is done in isolation, normally using Excel spreadsheets, before they all reconvene at the next conference. The process is outdated, expensive and inefficient. Calatrix's Inject Planner provides planners with an online, intuitive means by which they can collaboratively plan, execute and validate a training event. When a planner first logs in, they come directly to this main page where they get to see all of the exercises that are currently in the planning, the execution or the validation phase. And in this example, you can see there are four exercises. Uh, clicking on an exercise gives you a brief overview of what that exercise entails, when it's being conducted, where, etc. So as I open up Exercise New Dawn, I can see when the exercise is being run, where it's being conducted, who it's being sponsored by, uh, the planning events, and a series of notes that have been put in by the exercise lead planner. Also on the main page, is the ability to import previous exercises. So instead of having exercises filed away in some dated archival system, you can now import a previous year's exercise, and start with the details of that, the training objectives, the learning outcomes, etc., and import it into the new year. I can also, on this page, create new exercises. It's a templated format, the exercise name, the dates, so when it starts, it finishes, its location, who's sponsoring it, I want to make it uh, snazzy, I can put a particular logo in. The training objectives of the exercise is always extremely important. Uh, whether we want to actually score it in any particular manner, and also whether, we, in fact, we want to import data from a previous year's exercise. So instead of starting afresh, I can use all of the data, the training objectives from an exercise that we ran a previous year. As I open up Exercise New Door, I'm taken to the actual home page for that particular training event. And it's from this area that I can modify or add to all of the exercise metadata. Now, the exercise home page is once again providing a bit of an overview, but with a little bit more detail. And in this example, you can see that it lists all of the training objectives for the exercise. This is also the area where the overarching resources may be held. And the planners may wish to put the exercise control plan, or the exercise directives, or whatever information they wish to use at a later stage in this area. Now, they can also add maps of the particular training area. And in this example, I would just put a little port facility. Now, the point is that you can add whatever resources that you think that you will need to conduct the exercise. Now, some of the other drop down menus at the top here. I can archive the exercise. I mentioned earlier that it's very important to be able to use an exercise again. And from here, I'll archive it into our archival system so that I could use it again next year or some other stage. I can export it in a different format, or indeed, I can delete the exercise if I wish. I will come back to the scheme of manoeuvre and the reports at a later stage, but I'd now like to focus on Index. Now, let's open up Index. The term inject is predominantly used by military planners to describe an activity in which they're going to inject into the exercise in order to steer the training audience towards the agreed training objectives. Uh, in this particular example, we have inputted all of the actions that we expect to take place throughout this particular training event. Now, this is the column setup that we have actually done. I say that it's the way we have set it up, and many of these columns would be familiar to exercise planners. What is the name of the inject, the status, whether indeed it has been completed, if the exercise is running, or whether it's under review, whether it needs to be injected at a particular time, the date time group, or the description of that particular inject, or whether indeed it's a meeting, a briefing, a telephone call, an email, a situation report, the location, 
the expected action. What do we expect the trainees to do as a result of receiving this particular inject? Uh, any notes to the exercise control staff? Uh, what is the theme of that particular inject? What training objective is it linked to? It's important that all of injects are linked to a particular training objective. Uh, who are the training audience? Points of contact? And whether indeed any resources are actually allocated to that particular inject. So if I open up this one, you'll see that actually it has an activation email. And so when the exercise planner needs to release the inject in accordance with the date time group listed here, he can attach the email as it's already located for him. Uh, look, another very important part of ensuring that the injects linked to training objectives and determining your training outcomes is the ability to assess the inject. And so anyone who's located on the system can watch what the training audience is doing and make a particular observation, uh, the discussion points along that, and then make a recommendation. Now, these are going to build together to build up the after action review for the exercise. And so now we've made a particular comment against that, uh, that inject. And when I go to reports at the end, it will all be collocated. Well, that's the generic setup for injects. Now let's now open up the schedule events. The schedule events uh, gives you a timeline view of what's occurring in the exercise. Uh, in a similar manner to the injects blades, I can add new injects, edit them, delete, assess the injects, etc. Uh, or indeed, I can click on a particular inject, uh, right click it, and again, I've got all those particular options. Again, if there was resources added to that inject, I can go and review it here. Uh, or indeed, if I'm an exercise planner, I can click this and add the resource myself. Uh, many times a particular inject that needs to be repeated. The training audience actually haven't met the training objective from that, and therefore you want to reorder it again in, in the exercise. Uh, what this enables us to do is literally grab the, grab the uh, inject and move it in a particular timeline so that it can be conducted again. And so rather than trying to manage a thousand Excel spreadsheets, I can use this to determine what is occurring in the exercise at any particular time. Uh, looking along this line, uh, you will see that some of these uh, actually actually have a green tick beside them. And this green tick indicates that this particular inject has been assessed. And in the previous example, when I was discussing injects, you'll note that I made some comment about EOC activation. And here it tells me that at least someone has assessed that particular activity. So if I was the exercise lead planner and something was occurring, and there wasn't a green tick there, I'd know that no one was assessing that particular activity, and I could allocate someone to quickly do it so that we understood that the training audience was indeed meeting the training objectives. A small hover uh, over a particular inject, and you'll see that I get a quick overview of what that particular inject is about. Uh, as the exercise is being conducted, uh, there is actually a rolling black line uh, that moves along on the time frame here to show all the exercise planners what is occurring and what is expected to occur uh, at any particular time. Now let's now look at reports. Now we still remain convinced that it's important that all of the actions conducted by the training audience are observed and comments made about how they react to particular injects. It's from that that, as an exercise planner, you are able to determine whether, in fact, the exercise goals and objectives have been achieved. And it also forms the basis of your after-action review, uh, which you're able to give to the training audience and enabling them to learn from their particular activities so that we can go through a continual improvement process. Uh, we have pre-populated uh, this exercise with some assessment data, of which I can order in any particular manner. So I can order it by inject title. I can put it in a chronological order in which the activities were taking place. Or indeed, I can group them against the training objectives that we predetermined at the beginning of the exercise. And so in this example, I have all of the training objectives on the left-hand side. Uh, the number of injects that contributed towards that particular training objective. And then I have an aggregated score from all of the assessments and comments that were made against each of those particular injects. 
Uh, this is a stoplight report giving uh, the exercise planners a very simple overview of how that scoring and assessment has gone. I can drill down a little bit deeper into each of the activities. And for this particular training objective, you can see that there was uh, two subordinate uh, index to go in. And I can go down to individual comments from each of the assessors. And so as I drill down a bit further, I can see that uh, three different assessors made uh, an observation. Uh, this was the example that I used uh, earlier on in the, in, in the process. And so I've now got the observation, the discussion, the recommendations, and a score. And further back, I've got an aggregated score for that particular uh, inject. I'd now like to go on and talk about how you prepare a written or PDF report for the after action review. The comments and observations are continually being updated against all of the injects and training objectives. So at any stage of the exercise life cycle, the lead planner knows whether in fact the exercise objectives are being met. At the end of the exercise, however, or indeed throughout the exercise, if someone wants to read all the reports, the inject planner produces a PDF report. Now this PDF report will cover all of the exercise injects, the training objectives, and provide a detailed summary of all the comments made by the assessors. So here it is, it's opened up, exercise report for exercise new dawn. It will have a table of contents that is listing all of the injects in chronological order. It will go through all of the assessments that have been put against each of those uh, injects. And ultimately it'll get down to a summary, an aggregated summary of each of the events that have occurred. And finally, at the lowest level, the comments by individual assessors against every inject. It will list them by name, what the observation was, and the ultimate score. So if multiple people made comments, as they have in this particular example, you can read what each of the assessors said, what the observation discussion and recommendations were. As you have seen, Inject Planner is a powerful collaborative exercise planning tool that enables individuals and groups to plan together for an exercise from disparate locations. Not only does this save money, but it ensures a far more cohesive approach to planning. During the conduct phase, Inject Planner enables exercise staff to accurately understand what is occurring and what actions need to be injected. The evaluation component enables the lead planners to know whether the training objectives are being met, and then it rapidly produces a detailed report. For more information on Inject Planner, please visit the Calatrix website at www.calatrix.com.